Welcome to class. Today we're going to do a 20 minute routine to help you stretch out your low back, mobilize, switch on and strengthen the muscles that support your back so that you can feel less tension, more ease and fluidity in your body and mind as well. So let's begin kneeling on all fours on the mat. Just making sure your hands are under your shoulders, knees under your hips and we're going to begin rounding your back to the sky, letting your head hang down and pause for a minute to take a big inhale, sending your breath down into the back of the ribs and then we're going to exhale to go the other way, lengthening your spine and pressing down through your hands to lift your chest forward and up to the sky. Hold, breathe in and then round again, rounding your back up, hold for an inhale exhale change position and hold and inhale on the next one as you round your back begin to walk your hands in towards your knees keep pressing down through your hands and notice how the stretch changes you'll feel it in a different part of your back as you exhale walk forward and lift your chest forward and up to the sky breathe in breathe out walking your hands back to your knees hold for an inhale Walk your hands forward again. Big inhale here. One more time, walking the hands in. Big breath. And then walking the hands forward. And then we're going to come up to kneeling upright. We're going to begin kneeling on your left knee, bringing your right foot forward so you're in a hip flexor stretch position. So what I want you to do before we move is think of drawing in your tummy and lengthening up through the crown of your head so your body is really straight. Make sure your right foot is forward of your knee and then we're going to bend your, your right knee, sending your right knee over the toes. And you can very slightly think of engaging your left bottom muscle and you should hopefully feel a stretch somewhere in the front of the left hip or thigh. And then from there we're going to straighten the right leg. Your hips will move backwards and you can lean forwards, hands to the floor, one on either side of your right leg. And think of sending your, relaxing your head down towards your knee so you'll feel a stretch in the back of the right leg. And then we're going to repeat that coming forward into the lunge stretching through the left hip and then coming back into the hamstring stretch letting your head relax down again we come forward and this time we're going to hold the lunge reach your left arm up to the sky and then bend over to the right side so we're maximizing the stretch in the hip and maybe getting a little stretch through the down down through the left side of the body as well Great work, we'll switch sides now. So kneeling on your right knee, left foot forward. Body nice and straight and upright as you lunge forward, finding a stretch in the front of the left hip. Sending your hips back as you straighten your left leg and lean forward for a hamstring stretch. Again, we come forward into a hip stretch. You can use your right glute, your right bottom muscle a little to help you get a good stretch there. Coming back into your hamstring stretch. Relaxing your head down. And then coming forward again into the hip stretch, this time reaching your right arm up to the sky and bending over to your left. To maximize the stretch. Let's hold here for a few breaths. You could think about sending your breath into the right side of your ribcage to maximize the stretch. Good work. So now let's come on down onto our backs on the mat. You're going to have your knees bent, your feet in a standing position and just place your hands on your rib cage, one on either side. Take a big inhale and feel as though you're sending your breath into your hands so you're going to feel a lateral expansion of your rib cage as you breathe in 
and as you breathe out, just allow your body to relax and soften into the mat. Again, we breathe in to the rib cage, and we breathe out to relax and soften into the mat. Just let your head feel heavy, shoulders, low back, feet. All of the parts of you that are touching the mat, allow them to feel heavy and supported. Take one more expansive breath into the rib cage and exhale and relax. And now we'll place your hands down by your sides. See if you can continue with that lovely breathing as you begin to lengthen your low back down to the mat. So we're going into a little pelvic tilt. You're flattening your back into the mat a little. And then we're going to reverse that movement. So your back lifts up as your tail sinks down. So just rocking forward and back. You can move in time with your breath. It doesn't matter which way you breathe. Just inhale for one movement and exhale for the other movement. And as you're practicing this, allow your hips to feel nice and relaxed. And just visualize we're releasing tension through your low back and hips. It's a very good way to start so that we can access the deep muscles in your pelvis in your hips and in your low back. So if we can release the tension first, what we usually find is that those deep muscles will activate more easily. Now from here, we're gonna take this movement into a bridge. So the next time you, your low back lengthens into the mat, pick up your tail and peel your hips up into a bridge position. We're gonna hold at the top for a big inhale. And then exhale, relax your jaw, relax your neck, and melt your spine down one vertebra at a time with your tailbone landing last. Let's practice that again. We're gonna exhale as we roll up. Think of weight through your heels, so you might feel your bottom muscles on. Inhale at the top, and then exhale, relaxing your neck, relaxing your chest relaxing your spine down one vertebra at a time inhale and again we exhale roll up you've got weight through the heels so your bottom muscles are activating you're inhaling into the back of the rib cage and then think about lengthening your spine as you come down creating length through the crown of your head and in between each vertebra we're gonna do two more here. Exhale, roll up. Feel the bottom muscles switching on at the top. Inhale, exhale down. And on the next one, we're gonna roll up and you can either hold this position or you can lift one leg up into a tabletop and then place it back down. And now do the other side, inhale as you lift, exhale as you lower. If you feel it going into your low back, lower your hips down a little closer to the mat or do the previous variation where you're just holding. We're trying to minimize side to side movement of your hips here and keep them really square. We're gonna do one more each side. And then we're going to take a big inhale and exhale to roll the spine down bone by bone. So now we're going to stretch out the glutes or bottom muscles, which uh, if your low back is tight, these muscles are so important to stretch and strengthen. So we're going to cross the left ankle to the outside of the right knee. You can either pick up your right leg and draw it in towards you, aiming for a stretch somewhere in the left bottom or hip. If this position, if you find it a little too tight in your back and hips, then instead place your right foot on the floor and put your hands on your left knee and use your arms to draw your knee across to the opposite shoulder. So whichever variation you're doing, we're just going to hold and breathe and relax. So 
So practicing that lateral breath, breathing into the rib cage. And as you exhale, just allow everything to relax. You can visualize the bottom muscles relaxing and letting go every time you breathe out. And then we're going to switch sides. So let's cross the right ankle to the outside of the left knee. And you can either pick up your left leg and draw it in towards you, or you can place your hands on your right knee and draw it across to your left shoulder. Try to stay weighted through your tailbone so you're not flattening your low back too much into the mat. Taking an inhale and then exhale, relaxing. Just using your arms to pull either your leg or your knee in. And one more breath in to the rib cage. And exhale to relax into the mat. Uncross your legs and place your feet down. And now think of it lengthening your low back. So from your tailbone to your belly button, lengthen that part of your back down into the mat. Draw in through your tummy. So think of if you were to draw a line in between your two hip bones, just imagine you're drawing your tummy in or drawing the hip bones in towards each other. We're going to lift one leg up into a tabletop position and then the other. Now if you feel tension in your low back in this position, you can either bring your knees in towards your chest a little to relieve it. And if that doesn't work, then place one foot down on the floor and we're just going to work with one leg up in the air. So whichever version you're doing, we're going to take an inhale. And then as you exhale, you're going to lower one leg down and tap the floor. And inhale, bring it up. And then repeat on the other side. Now if you're doing one leg at a time, we're going to do them all in a row on one leg. So as your leg lowers down, your tummy draws in. And if you're doing one leg now, you'll switch to the other side. And keep going, exhaling, drawing in the tummy, inhaling as the leg comes up. So you should feel work through the abs and hopefully not too much through your low back. Okay, good work. So from here we're going to lower both feet down to the mat. Now I want you to interlace your fingers and put your hands behind your head. So the heel of your hand is just resting on the base of your skull. And again, we're going to go into that very slight pelvic tilt, so lengthening the low back to the mat. Take an inhale and as you exhale, we're going to curl the head and shoulders forward up off the mat as you bring one leg into a table top position. And then inhale as you lower both down at the same time. And then repeat on the other leg. Exhale, chest lifting as your leg comes up and inhaling as you lower back down. So as you come forward, imagine your chest bone, your breastbone is being drawn towards your pubic bone. And you're keeping a bit of a distance between your chin and your chest. And then also think of allowing the weight of your head to relax in your arms so that your neck isn't straining. You're supporting your neck with your arms. You should feel a little bit of work in the arms because your head and neck is relaxed in them. So we're going to do one more each side like this. And then on the next one, as you lift your leg, you're going to bring the opposite shoulder to your knee and then lower both down. And then repeat on the other side, shoulder to knee, down. And same thing, think about your pubic bone or your, sorry, your chest bone drawing towards your pubic bone as you come up. Keeping your elbows nice and wide. And one more each side. Now 
now we're going to come back into our four point kneeling position so hands under your shoulders knees under your hips and just finding length out through the tailbone and in a position out through the crown of your head imagine you're drawing a rectangle from your shoulders to your hips and then see if you can keep that rectangle very still as you slide one leg away along the mat lift it a little touch it back down and slide it back in and then repeat on the other side slide lift touch return and on the next one as you slide the leg we're going to reach the opposite arm forward and then return and then other side so keeping everything really still except for the arm and leg that are moving this is an excellent exercise for waking up all of your deep support muscles and the muscle slings that go across your back lots happening in this it's a lot harder than it looks so we're going to go for one more each side here and then we're going to come on down onto our forearms so fingers interlaced elbows on the mat try to think of pressing down through the elbows lifting the back of your head a little so your neck is long tummy is lifted keeping the right angle at your knee we're going to send one leg up towards the sky bring it back down and tap the floor so again keeping everything really still so we've done except for the leg so that's two we're gonna do ten here three four five six seven eight nine ten and now we're going to take that same leg out to the side for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and then we'll switch to the other leg so sending your heel up and tap the mat that's one keeping the tummy drawn in two pressing down through the elbows three spine nice and long four keep breathing five six seven eight nine ten and then to the side for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and then from there we're going to come on down to lying face down you can have your arms down by your sides nose to the mat just think of pressing your pubic bone down into the mat to engage through the tummy and then just lift your nose a centimeter up off the mat so your neck is long and I want you to imagine that you're lengthening through the crown of your head you're going to lift your shoulders up lift your arms up and now lift your head up into a little bit of a back extension so I don't want you to come so high that you feel your low back try to use your tummy to support your back let's do that again finding the length then you're going to float your shoulders your arms lengthen a bit more and lift your head so really focusing on length rather than height so the work is through the arms and the upper back lengthen lift the shoulders lift the arms lengthen a bit more lift your head and down two more times like this shoulders arms lengthen lift really reaching your fingertips down towards your feet and one more time shoulders arms lengthen lift and down 
And now we're going to do a modified plank position holding. So you're coming up onto your forearms, elbows on the mat, palms are down. So forearms are parallel. And what I want you to do is press down through your elbows and your knees and lift your hips up so you're in a straight line from shoulders to knees. Now from here, without moving anything, imagine or just gently draw your arms towards each other and your legs towards each other. And then draw your knees towards your elbows and your elbows towards your knees all at the same time. So you're holding that, what we call an isometric contraction. See so if you can keep holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. Very good. So it's a very good one for working all of your stabilizing muscles. We're going to come back up into a rest position now. Knees open, feet together. Allow your head to relax down to the mat. Arms can be out over your head or down by your side. Take a big inhale into the rib cage and exhale and just allow your body to soften into the mat. Let's do that again, big inhale. Nice relaxed exhale. And one more time, big inhale. Nice relaxed exhale. Then you can roll on up to sitting. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. If you've enjoyed what we've done together, please like and subscribe to my channel so that other people like you can find it and enjoy it as well. And if you'd like to try a free full length class, use the link in the comments below and I'll send you one direct to your inbox. Thanks again. See you in the next class.